Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Train Sim World 2 here on the channel. Before boarding Q015, these GP38-2s must be attached to the rear. Climb aboard and move them to the classification yard where Q015 is waiting. So we are doing the fully fueled operation here today, the third of eight CSX operations. And so first off today, we're gonna have to climb aboard here, as you heard dispatch say. And we're gonna have to attach this to the rear. Why am I thinking this is a 4400? Climb in through here. And we're gonna have to attach this to the end of the train. So first things first, reverser handle in. Headlights on bright. Let's go ahead, throw the fuel generator on. And set that to trail. Er, wrong way. Lead or dead, there we go. All right, should be set. Let's take a look where we're going. All right, switches are set, we are here. Train we're connecting to is up here. Let's go ahead, release the independent. Throw this in forward. Release the air brakes there. Two honks of the horn. As that's releasing, and let's go ahead and give this some throttle. As we're going downhill, this is really, I might have to recalibrate here. This is really touchy here. Let's turn off the bell, and we are on our way. All right, there we go. So we are in. Let's go ahead, throw that to neutral. Throw this to full service. And it wants us to, let's see, this goes to trail. Cut out. And there we go. So time to head up to the front of the train and we will take a hold of the lead. All right, <laughs> we've got just over 700 yards to go. We've been making this long hike. We got a train to our right, but they're actually making us walk 1.1 miles in the game. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, gonna be a bit till we actually get there. And finally, 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 we have reached the front of the train here. Two engines up front, two in back that we already coupled up. So let's go ahead and let's climb on board here. Again, can't go in through there. And hey, we got Bill with us today. Bill's back in the cab for this drive. We like to see that. All right, so there's our message from dispatch. Let's go ahead, headlights on bright. Set the fuel generator on. Cut in valve to freight. And let's turn on the ditch lights and the gauge lights. That is in, so let's go ahead and put that in forward. Release the independent brake. And then release the automatic. This is Q015, requesting a track warrant from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Over. Q015, subject to signal indications. Proceed from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Over. Alright guys, what I realized I didn't do that you need to do in order to get started here. We do need to communicate with the other engines, so we need to turn the radio switch on here. And then we'll sit back down the radio. We need to turn banking comm on. So there we go. Banking comm is on. So we're communicating with the other engine now. So let's go ahead then. Release that. Give it some throttle and we should be underway. Slowly but surely here getting to start. Throwing some sand down. We had to go to notch four. But we're picking up speed. 
And there we go. That should be good. We've got the train running. It takes quite a bit of power to get this going, actually, because we are starting on the uphill grade. But that is how you got to do it. And coming up in just about a mile, or actually, I guess a mile to be exact, we do have a red signal. So we are, I mean, we're not going terribly fast, so it, it won't take super long to stop this train. But again, you know, we are carrying a whole, you know, a whole consist behind us, and we are going downhill. So at about maybe 0.7 miles, we'll go ahead and start some reduction. All right, so we're coming up here. We haven't even applied any brakes yet. Again, we're just kind of letting the momentum slow our roll here. As it looks like we'll come up to the signal, and we're going to stop with plenty of room to spare. As we'll just go ahead and throw on full service here, and we will roll to a stop. All right, so we have finally got the green signal. We are off and underway here. We are starting downhill, but most of the train is still coming uphill, so it will be a slow start, but we are on our way. Bill. What a trusty hard worker Bill is. I, I don't know how we'd get through these operations without Bill. Our good old conductor Bill. Alright, so we are starting the uphill descent here now. And we're slightly speeding here. But that's because most of our train is still back in the 15 mile an hour zone. I would just like to at least get enough momentum going up the hill here. And somehow... Um, our horn is currently broken. I don't know if it's my controller or what. I mean, it's activating the bell. So I don't think my controller is broken. Just I, something wrong with the train, maybe. I don't know, but we're starting our uphill descent now. Alright, so we got this red signal coming in just over half a mile, and I'll be honest, I don't actually know how long it will take us to stop. I can't imagine it'll take us very that, that long, very that long, wow. Can't talk, but we are actually losing speed here, going uphill, we're notch 8, so we can't be given any more power. Um, so we'll, around half a mile, we'll just throw this into idle and kind of just let gravity do its work and apply brakes when we need to. All right, just under 500 yards. Let's go ahead, throw this thing into idle. And already we're dropping speed pretty quickly down to 16 here. 15, and that was probably the best time we could have done it as this will bring us to a complete stop. You can see the red signal's just up here, right before the turn. And, I mean, we're going to be pretty short of them, but rather safe than sorry. As we're under 10. Down to 7. And I wonder, actually, if we can get... In slack there. It will be. Oh, yep, we're getting wheel slip. Let's throw on some sand. And alright, so now we got a yellow signal, so we didn't need to stop actually. 
So let's boost this back up. Hold the sand down. And we're getting some speed back. Let's throw into seven. All right, let's go back down to six here. Continue holding the sand down. Bump it up to six. Keep the sand down, and we're just going to have to gradually pick up speed here. All right, coming up on another red signal, but I have a feeling this one is going to change yellow as soon as we get up there because we have already passed the train that I think we were supposed to wait for. So I'd hate to come to a stop and have to get this whole thing started again. But we'll see as we're coming up. I want to get a little more, a little more juice up there so we don't come to a complete stop have to start again. Throw on some sand here. Up into notch six and we're starting to gain some speed back here. We'll see if this actually changes or not. And it looks like it's not gonna change. So we actually will come to a stop up here. Rolling down and that will do it. Let's throw this in full service and throw on the independent brake as well. All right, so we have got the signal changed. There's actually a train going the same direction in front of us. We had to wait for them to get out of the subdivision that they're in. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do here, and now we're on a steep uphill, 1.5% gradient. So we need the independent brake applied. Let's go ahead, add some throttle, release the automatic. Let's charge up the amps here. Throw on some sand, and what we're going to slowly do is start to slowly release. Oh, we got to stay in four here. Slowly release the independent. And we should start moving. You can see just barely we're starting to crawl. Still holding that sand down. And there we go. We're starting to pick up. We're going to release the independent brake. Want to keep holding the sand. Still at four. We don't want to overpower our amp. Up to 1.5. And we're starting to move finally. Let's go ahead and try putting this in five. Let's keep the sand down. All right, there we go. We should be good. We got this running. We're back on track. All right, so we are five miles out here from the top of the summit. That is not a crossing. That is a shadow, so we don't have to sound the horn. But we're about five miles out here. We are full force going up this mountain, climbing slowly but surely. We're just at a 1.7% grade. We're at notch eight right now. We're still sitting at We've crept up now from 18 to 19 miles an hour, but this is a steep hill. We got a ton of cargo behind us, so it's still going to be a little bit till we get to the top. All right, so we have less than a mile to go, and we're up 27 miles an hour. The limit here is 30, and we're already starting our downhill descent here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this into dynamic brake setup, if we can get it. There we go. As a lot of the train still has to finish coming up the hill, but we're already starting the downhill descent here. So we just want to get ready and just get ahead of the train so we have some braking power to hold us and ease us down the hill. As we're picking up speed here, so already... Let's go ahead, let's throw into dynamic braking three here. And actually, we're still gaining some speed. Let's go ahead, yeah, let's push this up. Dynamic braking five. So we're still picking up some speed. See if this can start slowing us down, and that's going to start slowing us down a bit there. 
Let's just go ahead. Let's just throw it in dynamic breaking eight. And that's not really slowing us down at all, so we're going to have to start adding some independent brake and lapping it. But this is holding us at 29 right now. We're going to go ahead. We just put autumn, or the independent on full and lapped it, and that's just barely starting to slow us down here. Is Let's go ahead, throw some sand on. We're going to add full service take a little off here as we started to break way too late here don't need the bell on let's add some more brake and there we go full service ease this down that's exactly what we needed to do again we we had it under control we almost were out of control there going down we had full independent and dynamic break <laughs> independent independent and dynamic braking added and we were sticking right at the limit as this is let's go ahead and take off the independent braking is this will get us right where we need to be. We actually might be a little short. Or not. We'll see. We're coming up in 20 yards. Actually, this should be just perfect. As I don't think we could have got any closer, actually. Wow. That was... I was really impressed with that, actually. Effort. You've definitely got the hang of this. Head back, unhook the rear locomotives, and park them up on the sidetrack. A CSX pickup should be there to meet you. We'll see you later. All right, so now we have to walk all the way back again. Um, yeah, that's going to be fun. Let's go ahead, let's do that, and move these engines we brought up. All right, so we have gotten to the front end here. I finally, too, figured out how to change the walking settings to fast or running so it didn't take as long. Let's go ahead, uncouple the engines here. Climb up into the seats. All right, so now that we're here, lead or dead, we got to set our cut-in valve to freight. There we go. That is what we need. Put the reverser in reverse already. Let's go ahead, release independent. Let's give this some throttle. Release the automatic, and we are on our way. Alright, so we stopped where we needed to be. The track is set for us. We didn't have to change any of the switches. We gotta head forward now. And we will go on and take these up to the siding where we are going to finish out our task for the day. So we have done that. Let's go ahead and set the reverser to neutral. Automatic to full service. Which it should be full service. There we go. And engine shutdown button. And now it is time to head off and get picked up by the crew. As that is going to do it for the fully fueled operations here and you can already see how much quicker 
we're moving on the ground as that is going to wrap this one up guys and that is going to give us another gold medal here as we have finished our third csx operation scenario we have four more scenarios here on the csx line cumberland charge ice and snow powering america part one empowering america part two so if you guys are excited for us to be finishing up csx here in the next couple of weeks and want more train sim world 2 content be sure to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one